Stream Economy, where I tell you where to invest your fan time across movies, TV shows, and games. There's huge news this week in movies, guys. We got to kick things off with a new Robocop movie. Earlier this week, MGM announced it was developing a brand new Robocop movie set for release in 2020. And none other than District 9 director Neil Blomkamp would be helming it. There's an important question to be answered here, and that is, can Neil Blomkamp deliver a good RoboCop movie? Now, at first, I thought the answer to that question was so obviously yes, because District 9 was freaking amazing. But then I started thinking about it, and I started remembering a couple things, and now I'm a little tiny bit worried, because Neil Blomkamp has a habit of not delivering on high-concept blockbusters. So the last two movies that he's made since District 9, the feature films that he's made, have been Elysium, which didn't really light anybody's world on fire, and Chappie. Chappie. So not exactly home runs. But then there are an equal amount of movies, including the live-action Halo film that was supposed to get made and the Alien movie he was supposed to do that didn't end up making it to the silver screen. Such a disappointment. So these things make me a little bit worried that this outing is going to be a miss. The 2014 RoboCop remake with Joel Kinnaman was pretty subpar, so I think you can officially skip that. But you should definitely watch the 1987 original, which was awesome. After that 2014 remake, MGM and Neil Blomkamp have a little bit of an uphill battle here, but let's hope the director's up to the challenge. You Blomkampers out there, Tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. It's fine. You can fight me. Over in gaming, Overwatch League kicked off its inaugural playoff season and announced a massive broadcast partner. Freaking Disney. Blizzard and Disney have signed an exclusive multi-year deal to broadcast some of this season's playoff matches and the grand finals along with Overwatch League Season 2. Is this good news for esports fans and esports as a whole? Yes, obviously. 100%. Overwatch is amazing. In fact, producer Logan and I love it. We play it all the time. But I did give the Overwatch League a report card a while back over on CNET, and I said that the one thing that it really struggled with was accessibility, because the only way to watch Overwatch League is on the Twitch app, or you have to go over to overwatchleague.com and watch games through there. So watching it all day long like you would any traditional sports, like football, for example, was really kind of annoying. Now, if I want to watch Overwatch League all day on my TV, that's going to happen because this deal means that Overwatch League is going to be broadcast on Disney XD, it's going to be on ESPN, ESPN2, and even Network television, ABC. That is super exciting for anybody who loves esports. It doesn't matter what esport you're into. Now there is a door that is open where other esports can get involved and maybe find themselves on network television where an even bigger audience can be found. So this is awesome news. They're going to have the grand finals broadcast on network television, which I never thought I'd see in my lifetime because I'm a nerd. And on top of that, honestly, I think it's just really good for everybody. So High fives, guys. Can't wait to watch. All right, let's talk about TV news, specifically the adaptation of Why the Last Man. FX just announced its cast, and it's really exciting. FX announced the initial cast for Why the Last Man, a super popular and well-loved graphic novel that's getting the TV treatment. Diane Lane, Barry Keehan, Imogen Poots, Lashana Lynch, Juliana Canfield, and Marin Ireland will round out the cast. So what do I think about this cast? Well, I think it's awesome because these are a combination of veteran actors and fresh faces, and I really think they're going to make everything about Why the Last Man pop on your small 75-inch television. So on top of that, Why the Last Man, if you haven't read it, is a 60-issue graphic novel from the mind of comic book icon Brian K. Vaughn. This guy is a genius. He made Saga. He made Paper Girls. I mean, this guy is an absolutely incredible writer, and Why the Last Man is full of rich storylines and drama that will be perfect for television. So who is show running this thing? That's always a question that I would like to know, and I'm excited to say that the showrunners for Why the Last Man are going to be American Gods showrunner Michael Green, and he will be co-show running with Ida Mashaka Kroll, who used to be a writer-producer on Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Like, this woman knows her stuff. So I think it's in really good hands. On top of that, Michael Green has said that 
the series itself will be finite. It will be finite, so fans don't feel like it'll ever get stale, unlike some other shows based on graphic novels. Yes, Walking Dead, I'm looking at you. Right there, I'm looking at you. Looking at you. So I am really excited about this. I feel super confident. If you are a huge Why the Last Man fan, I would love to hear what your most anticipated scenes or sequences in the graphic novel that you want to see come to life in the show down in the comments. So hit that. Now, lastly, my friends, we have to talk about the World Cup. And to do that, there's only one man who could do it, and that's Mark Sarles. World Cup. World Cup. Why? Why did you have to end? Nima, stop rolling away! I'm coming! I'm coming, Nima! Slow down! Slow down, Nima! No! 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 I need the World Cup! What am I going to do with the World Cup? That's what, that's what I'm loving for! That's what I wake up at four in the morning for when my kids are sleeping! It's the only time I get! That's brilliant Mbappe! Mbappe, I never even knew who you were! Knew you are part of my life! I need you, Mbappe! Don't go! Mbappe, no! Mbappe, no! <laughs> Sorry for the little interruption there. If you enjoyed this week's show, you can check out last week's show over here. And of course, if you are interested in more Stream Economy content, we got you with bonus content right here. You can streamers.